Hello and welcome to an introduction to programming using Visual Basic exercises for beginners. In this exercise we are going to create a repair bill application. Let's suppose that the automobile repair customers are billed at the rate of $35 per hour for labor. And also suppose costs for parts and supplies are subject to a 5% sales tax. We are to write a program to display a simplified bill the customer's name, the number of hours of labor, and the cost of parts and supplies should be entered into the program via text boxes. And when a button is clicked, the customer's name and the free costs should be displayed in a list box. So this is going to be our form. Very simple. We have our three text boxes for the name, hours of labor, and cost of parts. And a button that when clicked will display all that into the list box. So I am in Visual Studio 2015 and here is my form, I already put it together. So I'm going to double click the display bill button and it brings me to the button click event. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is declare some variables. We need to collect the number of hours worked, the cost of the parts and we need the customer's name. And also we will need a total that will be the total charge that we will display in the list box. So our dim labor and parts and total will be doubles and name will be a string. So this will be the customer's name. The next we have to ensure that the user entered valid input. That means that the labor was actual number, that the parts was actual number and then the name was entered. So we will check if the labor and parts is numeric and we will check if the name was supplied. So if is numeric the labor.txt and is uh, numeric the txt parts and the txt name that text is not empty then we have a valid input and we can perform the operation and display the results so now our labor will equal whatever the input is in the txt labor.txt however labor is double so we will convert the text into double as well so our labor will equal cdbl txt labor.txt and the same for the parts. Our parts equal cdbl and it's the txt parts.txt and the name will simply equal the txt name text. It's a string so we don't have to convert anything. So now we also need a variable that will hold the cost of the labor. So I will declare a dim labor cost as double and it will equal the labor multiplied by 35. So in other words the number of hours multiplied by 35 which is how much the shop charges per hour. And that will give us the whole labor cost. Now a parts will equal, I'll call it parts cost and again it's gonna be a double and it will equal the parts cost but we'll need the tax and the tax is 5% so we will add 5% on top of the cost of the parts. So we will add plus and the 5% of the parts. So parts multiplied by 0 0.05. Again 0 0.05 is the representation of 5% tax added on top of the parts. And our total will equal the labor cost plus the parts cost. Very simple. Now we can add everything into our list box so our lst display dot items dot add and we will add something like uh, customer and add the customer name so it's gonna be the plus name or concatenated name to it our list display dot items dot add and we're going to add the labor cost so our labor cost and we can add a formatted into dollars so we will concatenate and we'll use format currency and we'll format currency of the labor cost. Next we will display the parts cost so display that items that add and we will say parts cost and just like we did with the labor we will format it to currency. It's going to be the parts cost. Alright and at the end we will display the total so we will display uh, LST display that items that add and we will say something like total cost and just like before we will format it to currency and we will formatting the total variable. Alright so this is what we do 
if all the input is valid. Now if it's invalid, we'll simply display a message saying that the input is invalid. So we will add an else statement and we will do message box that show and we will simply say please enter valid input. All right, so let's run it and see what we get. So customer's name, I'm going to enter Pavel, hours of labor, let's say 10 hours and cost of parts, let's say 45. And if I click display bill, I get the customer. The labor cost is 350 because the 10 times 35 is 350. Labor cost is 47.25 because it adds the 5% tax on top of 45. And 350 plus 47.25 is 397.25. So that's working correctly. Now if I do another customer and 99 cost of parts and click display, this will just add on the bottom of it. We really don't want to do it this way. What we want to do instead is clear the list box every time the display bill is clicked. So before our if statement, I'm going to clear the list box. So LST display dot items dot clear. All right, so let's test it. I'm gonna run it. I'll enter Pavel 10 and 10.25, let's say. Click display bill and it displays the bill as before. And if I enter a second customer and I click display bill, the list box clears and it displays the second customer information. Now if I forget to enter let's say customer name and click display bill, we get the please enter valid input. So this is the exercise. I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next video.